Learn more about the safety and efficacy of Safnello and Ifrolimab. I'm Dr. Grace Wright. Safnello and Ifrolimab injection for intravenous use is indicated for adults with moderate to severe SLE who are receiving standard therapy. Safnello is not recommended for patients with severe active lupus nephritis or severe active central nervous system lupus. Please watch the complete video for additional important safety information. The efficacy and safety of Safnello was evaluated in three 52-week multicenter randomized double-blind placebo control studies. TULIP-1 and TULIP-2 were phase three studies and MUSE was a phase 2B study. All studies included adult patients who had moderate to severe SLE who were receiving standard therapy. Safnella was evaluated across the clinical trial program using the BICLA and SRI4 composite endpoints to assess clinical response. The primary endpoints for TULIP2 and TULIP1 were BICLA and SRI4 responses, respectively. In MUSE, the primary endpoint was a combined assessment of SRI4 response and sustained reduction in oral steroid use. The primary endpoints in the MUSE and TULIP2 studies were met. TULIP1 did not meet statistical significance. BICLA assesses comprehensive impact across all affected organ systems, reflecting both partial and complete improvement. It requires at least one level of improvement in all moderately or severely affected organ systems, no new organ involvement, no worsening of disease activity, no discontinuation of treatment, and no use of restricted medications. In this presentation, we will focus on BICLA. In TULIP2, Safnella demonstrated statistically significant efficacy in reduction of overall disease activity with a BICLA response in 47.8% of patients on Safnello versus 31.5% on standard therapy alone. In fact, 53% more patients experienced reductions in disease activity with Safnello. Reduction was primarily related to improvements in mucocutaneous and musculoskeletal organ systems. Let's move to additional BICLA data, which are descriptive only because they were not multiplicity adjusted. The BICLA reduction seen with Safnello was consistent across TULIP1 and MUSE trials. In TULIP2, Safnello plus standard therapy demonstrated consistent efficacy across a diverse patient population. Approximately one out of two patients, regardless of race or ethnicity, achieved reductions in SLE activity as measured by BICLA. This consistency in response was seen across all evaluated patient subgroups, from age to gender, to baseline oral steroid use, to disease severity as measured by SLEDAY 2K. In TULIP2, BICLA responses were sustained and observed early in a proportion of patients on Safnello when compared to standard therapy alone. This data shows separation observed as early as week four, which was the first BICLA assessment after administration of the first dose. In TULIP2, patients taking Safnello were 55% more likely to achieve a sustained BICLA response through the remainder of their treatment. The safety profile of Safnello 300 milligrams was established in three clinical trials with a diverse population involving more than 1,000 patients. The most commonly reported adverse reactions were upper respiratory tract infections, bronchitis, infusion-related reactions, herpes zoster, cough, respiratory tract infections, and hypersensitivity. In summary, the efficacy and safety of Safnello was established based on assessment of clinical response using the composite endpoints BICLA and SRI4. In TULIP2, Safnello demonstrated significant reductions in disease activity across all affected organ systems, consistent efficacy across a diverse patient population, 
and sustained reductions in disease activity that were observed early. Next, let's review additional important safety information for Cefnello. Important safety information. Contraindication. Cefnello is contraindicated in patients with a known history of anaphylaxis. Warnings and precautions. Serious infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections have occurred in patients receiving immunosuppressive agents, including Cefnello. Cefnello increases the risk of respiratory infections and herpes zoster. Use caution in patients with severe or chronic infections. Avoid initiating treatment during an active infection and consider interrupting therapy in patients who develop a new infection during treatment. Hypersensitivity reaction, including anaphylaxis. Serious hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis, have been reported following Cefnello administration. Events of angioedema have also been reported. Other hypersensitivity reactions and infusion-related reactions have occurred following administration of Cefnello. Cefnello should be administered by healthcare providers prepared to manage hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis and infusion-related reactions, if they occur. Immediately interrupt administration and initiate appropriate therapy if a serious infusion-related or hypersensitivity reaction, for example, anaphylaxis, occurs. Malignancy. There is an increased risk of malignancies with the use of immunosuppressants. The impact of Safnello on the potential development of malignancies is not known. Immunization. Avoid the use of live or live attenuated vaccines in patients treated with Safnello. Use with biologic therapies. Safnello is not recommended for use in combination with other biologic therapies, including B-cell targeted therapies. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions, incidence greater than or equal to 5%, are nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory tract infections, bronchitis, infusion-related reactions, herpes zoster, and cough. In the controlled clinical trials, the incidence of infusion-related reactions was 9.4% in patients while on treatment with Safnello and 7.1% in patients on placebo. Infusion-related reactions were mild to moderate in intensity. The most common symptoms were headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and dizziness. Use in specific populations. Pregnancy. A pregnancy exposure registry monitors pregnancy outcomes in women exposed to Cefnello during pregnancy. For more information about the registry, or to report a pregnancy while on Safnello, contact AstraZeneca at 1-877-693-9268. There are insufficient data on the use of Safnello in pregnant women to establish whether there is drug-associated risk for major birth defects or miscarriage. Advise female patients to inform their healthcare provider if they intend to become pregnant during therapy, suspect they are pregnant, or become pregnant while receiving Safnello. Lactation. No data are available regarding the presence of Safnello in human milk, the effects on the breastfed child, or the effects on milk production. Pediatric use. The safety and efficacy of Safnello in pediatric patients less than 18 years of age has not been established. Please see full prescribing information including patient information at www.safnello.com forward slash HCP.